What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Uh, lots going on here in the land of uh, Extreme World. I uh, still am battling the USPS. So that's taking up a little bit of my time. A lot of products being pushed like out everywhere. Inception Baseball, I have the only warehouse as of right now that has not received their Inception Baseball. So it's just been mad crazy with different things this week coming down. PSA has been just popping, popping. So I have an order. It should be here either tomorrow or Friday, then one either Friday or Saturday. So I'll combine those because I only had myself two cards in each of those economies. And, man, they were some bangers. I ain't going to lie. Really, really happy with the overall grades on to it. Um, exactly what I thought they would come back as. Um, I had a couple that I possibly thought would go get up a grade and yeah pretty good overall um only two cards for mail day right now uh we have a storm coming in tonight so i'm kind of like staying put right now to where i'm not gonna go to the p.o box probably until friday because i got those uh what do you call it the booklet slab things for this i picked up three uh man they shipped it first class for 14 bucks. I mean, come on. You can at least give me priority mail for three of them. And then also, if you guys don't know about stand-up displays, I put an order in. Oh, I think now it's like 11 days ago. They're supposed to mail you a proof, five to seven days, no proof. So I've like emailed them, went to the website, filled out their questionnaire, hit them on Instagram. Nothing. Crickets. This is great stand. So I'm about to end up... Uh, Probably going to do a charge back on to the uh, stuff so I can get my money back. And then I'll do a video showing my overall experience and review on it. So be on the lookout for that one. Let's see. That's pretty much it. So let's get the mail day. Just want to show it's been a lot going on. Lots of lots of fun stuff. Uh, we'll start off with this one here. And I just covered you so, you know, kind of gives a little mystery. Pick this up. This is not an upgrade at all to my Clemente collection because I have one higher. But you can never go wrong with Roberto Clemente at all. So as a PSA 7, I think I was in this for $34 and won it. Really, really crisp looking. Uh, centering left and right, of course. There was a little bit soft down here. But overall, really happy. Uh, I'll probably end up putting this in display case down the road. But like I said, it's not an upgrade for the Clemente collection. And I've pretty much... And if I've had doubles and stuff that's like slabbed, I've been pretty much trying to move them now. I consider myself I was hoarding too much. Minus like my books of like Nolan Ryan's, Jordan's, and Crosby's that I have. Those I hold on to, but I was trying to dwindle these safety deposit boxes down to three or four this year. I'm close to four. I'm getting close to four. All right, last pickup. This is another win that I had this week. Or actually last week. God took four days to ship it. So probably won't be getting any more of his stuff. But 2016. This is Panini Honors. I believe second year of doing this. Maybe first year. I cannot remember. But Big Ben. 8 out of 10. And basically this is a buyback card that they autographed. And then it was hand numbered. Uh, yeah, this is 2010 when this uh, card actually came out, the Epics. Really cool looking. Um, Big Ben, you guys all know, done for now. Uh, and I just had an interesting conversation with three different people because they asked me about my Roethlisberger collection. And I think once he goes in the Hall of Fame, I'm going to sell it all and then move into something else uh, in football. I just, I'm not a fan of being like that. I'm collecting everybody. You know, I, I get all the Pokemon and stuff. And realistically, I've limited myself through the years to my Jordan collection. Uh, my Nolan Ryan, I barely pick stuff up for that anymore. The Clemente, I try to upgrade one per year. Of course, this wasn't the upgrade yet. Uh, Cindy Crosby, rookies and autographs. And then Ben Roethlisberger, rookies only. I've I stuck with that with just autos as well, too, because I didn't want to get every base card and every, you know, variation out there. But I didn't want to fall into the piece of I got to collect everybody out there. I mean, there's some cards that I have a 
small stack of for like later on type deal, but nobody's just really come out and just like grabbed a hold of me. But I guess this year, if Pittsburgh drafts a quarterback, and hopefully it's the Pitt guy, um, I'll probably chase him somewhat. And then if he turns out to be a bust, so be it. If he doesn't, I'm going to straighten my camera here. Um, then I'll at least have part of his collection going for the new era. But mostly my stuff's always been Pittsburgh stuff, minus Nolan Ryan, because I was a young kid watching baseball, and I watched a no-hitter against the A's live, and I was like, oh, my goodness, you know. And then Jordan, because we just didn't have a basketball team. And believe it or not, my dad was a big gambler and used to do the bookie stuff on teams. And I just watched Jordan one day because we only had that one TV at a time in the house. And, uh, well, that one TV had a cable box. Let me rephrase that. We had other ones, but they had the old rabbit ears that would go up and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I just I saw it and I thought he did some great stuff and just decided to start collecting him. But really haven't really done much out otherwise on to it. But like I said, this is a good adding to the Roethlisberger group. Um, and I just, if this would have, well, it's going to be hard to upgrade this card if I ever go that high. But uh, still a beautiful card of Clemente. So get happy with the two pickups this week. Again, I should have a couple more videos this week. I'm trying to work the lighting to uh, actually show these hollows. For fake slabs being able to tell with the PSA it's written up here. You gotta black light it. And then around this border here, it should hollow. If you use a black light, you'll see the uh I don't know what you would call it. Black light special PSA symbols going around here. So once I figure that out, I'll get that video out. I tried it multiple ways already. Maybe if I just turn this light off and it's dark real quick, I could show it. Alright, guys. Again, appreciate your support to the channel. I will catch you all next video.